and you feel like you're a girl that day, you can go into the girls' shower rooms and their restrooms and, and you cannot, uh, you'll, you'll be in trouble and there's been prosecution where, that, uh, where people are, are condemning and resisting that. Uh, I tell you, it's, it's right on our heels and we don't realize where it's at. And so, um, yeah, Europe is uh, post-Christian. Our country is, um, is, is really post-Christian. In fact, it's, uh, there, it goes from Christian to post-Christian to anti-Christian. And uh, remember Israel. God said at one point Israel was worse than the pagan heathen nations around it. And that oftentimes happens. Uh, uh, you know, it's interesting. Some of the most vile opponents of Christianity in universities today, some of those that are preaching uh, uh, atheism and, and against God and are the, the, the greatest critics, if you go and study most of their uh, family heritage, most of them have come where they've been had great exposure to Christianity and have rejected it. And uh, the same, just as that's true oftentimes with individuals that are totally exposed and have tasted, as it says in Hebrew, the things of God, the heavenly things, and they, then they turn against it. And they're the most vile versus some that haven't had exposure to it. Uh, they're oftentimes the most open. But uh, it, it's, be, it's because they know there's a God and, they've, and, and they hate God, just like, uh, just like Satan. He knows there's a God. And, and, uh, and of course, he, he uh, is the very uh, greatest opponent of God. But, but, but people are this way, too. And nations are this way. So, uh, uh, yeah, there are. And we'll be looking, by the way, uh, before we finish, we will look at nations that are being Christianized today, that their civil leaders are honoring God and God's law today. Uh, it's uh, not happening here in the United States, but, of course, it could change here in the United States. Uh, but it's in other countries. I won't give those countries away. We'll eventually be looking at some of those countries. There's countries today, and as there has been since the time of Christ, there's been countries, vast countries, that have, that have turned to Christ. As we looked at some of the earlier ones, Armenia, for example, and Ethiopia, uh, and, and the greatest one in, in uh, 325 A.D. was uh, the whole Roman Empire. Our secular historians don't really reveal accurate, honest history especially during that period of the Roman Empire because, it, it, Rome, because Constantine the Great was such a, uh, I believe, a mighty Christian man and put embraced the laws of God. But again, after several centuries, even after several generations, it began to be corrupt. And finally it got so bad that God finally judged it. Just like our country started so godly, the pilgrims were unbelievably, all, all the nation states, uh, uh, I mean, you had to embrace Christianity, believe the Bible, and and say that you were to, to advance the gospel to be able to run for a political office. Um, but anyhow, uh, so long story short, uh, they've turned away from God. But any country can turn back. Realize every one of the countries that the reformers raised up in were all godless. And they all turned around one reason. Because the preachers knew the word of God and proclaimed it to everybody. They did like John the Baptist. They went to the civil leaders. They proclaimed to the crowds like Jesus. Now Jesus, in, in, in divine, in, in the history of, uh, of, of humanity, God's providential plan was for Jesus at that time to be crucified, to be able to take the sins of the world upon himself, to redeem us as individuals. So God allowed that particular time to take place. But after Jesus raised from the dead, his great commission was what? To go and disciple the nations. So now... Uh, by putting on the whole armor of God. You see, we were going through Ephesians, weren't we? And, and we kind of spiritualize that, and it's not wrong to spiritualize Ephesians 6, putting on the whole armor of God, but, uh, but these men saw it as a very practical thing. Um, and we, the people of God, we'll, we'll get in as we, as we lay more foundations. We'll be looking at a lot of the practical things of application. Uh, to get into it too much at this point becomes difficult, until we lay, get more layers of foundation. Uh, but um, uh, but uh, they thought of these things in a, very, in a very real way. So, I don't know. Anybody else have any other comments or questions or thoughts? Foundation is, it, it, uh, the prophet said, men die for lack of knowledge. And the evangel, and that's why, actually, they're videoing this, because this is going... Uh, to groups like ours, 
literally all over the world. And 